The convenience of online shopping may be great for consumers, but it's often not so good for traditional brick and mortar stores. Many have closed in recent years. But now there's an experiment underway near Dallas that could be a model for the store of the future. Janet Shamlin is it Shamlin is in Plano, Texas to show us Janet, what are they doing in this store of the future? Tony, good morning. Well, you might call it the evolution of the department store, and it is a new concept being tested here in Texas. Let me describe it. It's a large open space with a carefully cultivated selection of products that usually you can only find online. But here's what shoppers should know. As they're walking around, browsing, picking things up, cameras in every part of this store are tracking their every move. It could be the future of retail, almost 14,000 square feet of store that doesn't feel like a store filled with areas to hang out and a very popular restaurant. It's just a, a nice alternative place to meet with people, you know, have business meetings or even just to chill out and work for a few hours, not in the office. Sprinkled throughout this contemporary space, more than 30 trendy brands. So the more that you guys hear or have to say, like, tell us, we'd love to know. It's awesome. Yeah. From purses and pet products to sunglasses and shoes, Neighborhood goods stocks products you can usually find only on the internet. Walking through, it's kind of Instagram to life, but I can actually come in and connect with them. It's a department store slash pop-up where merchandise changes quickly and where online brands like Rothy's Shoes can check out what works in the offline world. All of these brands are available online. So why would someone come in here? There's something very special still about seeing it in person. Founder Matt Alexander has been called the rebel of retail. Our focus in this room is creating a sense of magnetism to the space that has very little to do with the transaction and much more to do with that experience. Sellers sign a short-term lease, sometimes only a month or two, a guarantee there's always something new. For shoppers, it's a chance to touch and feel a product they may have only pointed and clicked on. For the brands, it's a much bigger opportunity. There are hidden cameras all over this space, giving sellers a chance to see who's buying and how they're interacting with the product. Some of the cameras count heads. This little white box here is a Bluetooth beacon that uh, plays with our apps. Others tally information like gender and what a customer looks at, picks up valuable intelligence. Brands right now get an email from us every week that shows, you know, sales and feedback from our store staff, but it also has, you know, how many people went into your space, what is the general age range, you know, how frequently were they transacting. Hook and Albert is an online seller of luxury leather goods. This hooks, and now all of a sudden you've got that much packing yep. space. The company is testing out new products here, getting a treasure trove of feedback and about 20% of its total sales. In the future, when we eventually hope to expand on our physical retail presence and have stores of our own, data like that is invaluable for us. A little big brother, all those cameras. Shoppers seem to think it was no big deal. When you go and shop in stores, mostly everything's on camera. You know, you get a ticket, it's on camera. So I think that's just a new technology. I feel like every store, you know, there's somebody watching security purposes, so yeah. It's a good, good store for sure. For all the gains in online selling, experts say this experience can't be replicated. A well-produced physical space appealing to all a customer's <laughs> senses. Neighborhood Goods' next move is into New York City as the products test out new ways to get shoppers' attention. And here's an example. You may have heard of the Dollar Shave Club. It sells men's grooming products online. Well, they're testing out the idea of a vending machine for their products. They've got one here in the Neighborhood Goods store, and you can also find them places like Mall of America and LaGuardia Airport, just in case you've forgotten a necessary <laughs> item yes. on your way somewhere it else. Yes, I've heard of Dollar Gail, Shave Club. Thank you very much, Janet. Listen, Big Brother really is watching. Boy, that's for sure. And he and she are taking receipts and taking numbers yeah and getting yeah. all sorts of data. I'm looking I like forward it. to that coming to New York. Me yeah. too. Me yeah. too. I like it. I like it very much.